morning for breakfast, we decided to try out the donut bar. Can you tell us what we got? We got the raspberry cheesecake, the strawberry something, yes. strawberry split, I think, strawberry cream, and triple chocolate. We'll see how it is. This morning we had a hankering for donuts, so we hopped on some scooters in downtown San Diego and took it down to the donut bar. Donuts were great, and now we are at the San Diego Zoo. When we saw these turtles, all I could think about was that these are definitely much bigger than our turtle squirt at home. I cannot imagine that thing living in Kyle's bedroom. Hey buddy, what you doing? Weaving all the way through your tank? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, he's having a good time. He's just chilling. Since Josh proposed on this trip, I'm real excited to announce that I'm going to soon be a future flamingo. <laughs> you may need a bath. And a hairbrush. Yeah, well. These little monkeys were super cute and running around their whole enclosure and playing and wrestling just like little kids would. We probably spent more time than we needed to sitting and watching these guys, but they were so entertaining we couldn't help ourselves. I had to put in this video just for you, mom, who's recently become obsessed with llamas. So here you go, it made the video. <laughs> this elephant was cracking me up as it was playing with its toys. I swear it's just a bigger version of a puppy. used to see a dog in the cheetah enclosure but apparently they're using domesticated dogs to find and befriend cheetahs that have been left alone by their pack. I'm glad I was not around when birds this size actually roamed the earth. That would be terrifying. After we got done at the zoo, we decided to head over to Balboa Park, which many told us was also a must-see attraction in San Diego. The first stop was Spanish Village. Of course, while we were there, surrounded by all the fun colors and artwork, I had to take, you know, a few more pictures of my pretty ring. We're in the sculptor's garden inside of the Spanish village. There are definitely a lot of very unique looking sculptures in here, but I still think it's pretty cool.
After we left the Spanish village, we ran into a lot of other very unique and interesting looking buildings, such as the Casa del Prado shown here. Help but use the beautiful scenery to take a few pictures of my new fiance and of course a lot more pictures of my pretty ring i couldn't help myself one thing we didn't have time to do was go see the museum of man but i'm not sure i would have wanted to see the cannibals exhibit for dinner, we decided to go try out this cute little sushi place right outside of Balboa Park. It was very, very good. To end the day, we headed over to the gas lamp district to check out some of the nightlife in the area. And look, mom, we even found another llama. We saw this funny sign when we were in the gas lamp district, but honestly had no idea the impact that COVID-19 would have on our lives in just a few short weeks. That's all for today, but check back soon for our last video of our trip to San Diego, where we head back to Coronado, where we had just a few days earlier gotten engaged.